the value of like the documentation, it doesn't matter if anyone's watching it for that fact. Yeah. It's just the fact that you have it there and it's yeah. something that you can talk about and you can point back to, especially if you're in something like, you know, an interview situation. For me, when I started, started applying and I landed my first few jobs or first few offers, I got an offer from Microsoft, for example, one from Shopify. And for Shopify, this is actually one where I just like raw apply, just like shot my resume in. I didn't follow any of your ATS scanning type stuff. It was, you know, really bad compared to what I would have today. But I had on there, you know, programming YouTuber and I had, you know, 800 whatever plus videos, probably less at that time, a bunch of cool projects, companies that I would worked with. And they told me specifically the reason they brought me in for an interview is because I had that on my resume. Mm -hmm. And they said, that's really unique. Like, we haven't seen that before or it's not very common. And at minimum, we just wanted to talk to you. We don't know if we're going to hire you, but yeah. we just want to come in because it's, it's interesting. It's different. So now again, you know, that's a bigger social channel. But even if you had 3,000 subscribers, 1,500. If you've shown commitment and passion, that's what a lot of people are looking for. And even if it's a blog post, LinkedIn post, it doesn't matter. Just doing something consistently for a long period of time is always going to benefit you. And it's always gonna be something you can point back to.